Memorial Day weekend is almost here. The unofficial start to summer travel season and AAA says for more far more people plan to drive to their summer vacations this year instead of flying. So how much gas money are we going to need? And can you drive faster or slower to try and change that? Let's verify. Life in the fast lane? Pump the brakes and save some cash. Turns out there's a sweet spot for speed. Viewer Janice shared tips from the experts. It says remember every five miles above 55 miles per hour decreases fuel efficiency. Our sources to verify are Consumer Reports and Patrick DeHaan, Gas Buddy Head Petroleum Analyst. The claim is generally true. Consumer Reports measured gas mileage at a steady 55 miles an hour, then 65 and 75, both in a standard car and compact SUV. It found reducing speed from 65 to 55 improved fuel economy by six miles per gallon in the car and eight miles per gallon in the SUV. But that test is a few years old. For newer cars, we must look beyond the speedometer for the sweet spot. It depends on how many gears your transmission has. A lot of newer vehicles tend to have more efficient transmissions. And really, it's not necessarily so much about the speed, but keeping the revolutions, the tachometer down as low as possible. And be conscious of what the car is carrying. Consumer reports found at highway speeds, more than 50% of engine power goes to overcoming aerodynamic drag. Adding weight to that, even from an empty roof rack, slows down fuel economy. I asked Dahan about a highway route versus a back road route to the beach, for example. He said it really depends on traffic that day. Usually slow and steady versus stop and go is the way to roll. With your Verify, I'm Megan Malaris.